The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. If you're building, buying, or selling a home, the real estate crew's got news for you at the real estate house party. With attorney Rick Carter. Real estate house party. Paralegal Kathy Holsthausen. Real estate house party. Come in, have fun. And comedian Tony V. Now, here's real estate attorney Rick Carter. <laughs> We're already going downhill. <laughs> Not good. Well, look who's here, Christine Hurley. She's back. Yeah, yeah. She's back here I'm on the so Real Estate House Party. Back. I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> Thanks for coming. So happy. Thank you for making that trip. I know you don't I, want to say where you come from. I'd but. go to a rock fight to get out of that house, honey. Don't you, <laughs> don't you worry. You ask me to be somewhere, I'm going to be there. And John actually came back. John? Thank God. I know. The Iceman's back. Thank yeah. you very much for coming back. This is two weeks in a row. This is awesome. Yeah, Kathy, like- thank you. Yeah, I love hey. your dungaree jackets. Oh, thank very you. Nice. Yeah, she's she's very nice. She's very fashionable. Very Kathy. fashionable. How does her hair look? She has to oh, for thank every you. show. Beautiful. Thank but you. The sad part is John asked the same question I know, today. exactly. I, you look great, too, John. Thank John's you. here. John. looks good, too. John's he's a, here. He's a lovely lady. You, you're a little yeah, bit more tan since last week. Have you been out researching? Sailing still? Sailing? Sailing, documenting the wheel path. Yeah. Watching Shack Week. Yeah, Shack Week. Yeah. With Gronk. Yeah. The while, Carter Law Office is slaving away to get your loans done. Yeah, to yeah. put money in his pocket. Yeah. As you should. Yeah. Plot <laughs> yeah. plan issues. Why do I need to do that? Yeah. There's a lot of work to these closings. I don't know if you never knew that. What are you talking yeah. about? You just show up. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't say I'm doing all the work. I said that there's a lot of work to it, right? No, I say he that. He has people. I have people. I say that because that's what. That are going to need some more money. Yeah. That's what That's oh. what the consumer thinks. They're like, what would the attorney do? All he does is show up for an hour and. Oh. Well, it's somewhat true. <laughs> no, that's no. not true. The at attorney, all. the attorney's office no. does yeah. a lot of stuff, no, no, but they no. don't see that. I you, know. I do it a little. Do he a lot does of work. all the purchase and sale negotiation, guys. Like, do not sign a purchase and sale agreement if you don't have an attorney like Rick review them, right? Oh, that's, yes, that is absolutely that's true. That's good to know. That's well, absolutely true. Because yeah, we talked about last week, people don't yeah. seem as prepped for their closings as they should be. It's a contract, and you, right. you could stand to lose your deposit money. So right. it's right. If they don't, and you said a key word: negotiation. You know, right. a lot of people just think it's just standard, but yeah. at that point, that's the time. Well, well, actually, the offer is the time you want to do if your... If he represents a buyer, he's going to make sure that his buyer is protected in every aspect of the I, transaction. I love, I love when the brokers call, and you probably remember from your broker days, oh, yeah. they would say, can you look, the, look this purchase sale, sale over quickly and so they yeah. can sign? There's no such yeah. thing as quickly, you <laughs> quickly, guys. Quickly so I don't have to pay. <laughs> right, right. That's, that's exactly what that's that means. Well, you only looked at it for a minute. I'm not right, going right, to pay you right, 250 right, You know, right, you only right. looked at it for Who's going to pay my malpractice claim yeah. after they give me a call and say, you should have looked this over yeah. a little bit more than you yeah. did? Uh, it's, uh, isn't but that beautiful? Other, but the other thing that the buyers and the sellers and the brokers don't understand is he doesn't know... He doesn't That's know what point. what um, what you guys decided. Is the refrigerator staying or leaving? Is the shrub staying or you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like what you guys negotiated. No, right. So so Rick can look at something all day long, but if he doesn't have the details of the transaction, it's, it's tough no to good. represent. Right. So Rick, sometimes a buyer will never even call our office, and Rick reviewed the purchase and sale agreement, and he'll call and say, "Are you all right? Oh, all okay with all this stuff?" And they're like, "Well, did you review it?" Well. Johnny, we talked about trends last week, and this is the trend we're seeing in our world. Right. They just kind of assume, you know, they can just sign things, and I don't get any calls from the buyers and sellers. And as Kathy says, they might lose, leave out a few facts that I should know about, so I have like to prod it out of Like that they're removing this, in the stupid yeah. stuff, but removing the chandelier, or right. um, the, that the sellers are going to repave the driveway before closing, or that they agreed That's to... That's never good when all the fixtures are removed from the house when they... They're doing their walk through it at all. Have, they agreed to extend the closing out a week if the you know buyers right. didn't so sell they their house. So they don't let you know that? They, well, sometimes they do they and sometimes they don't. do, but I have to don't. prod it out of them. I go, is there anything else I should need to know? <laughs> anything? Anything? Anybody? <laughs> Any, you want to help? John, <laughs> you've, you've been doing a good job lately on the uh, financing dates. You've been all over that. Because sometimes they ignore well, he, that date. I'm sure he feels a little pressure. <laughs> you've well, been coming to our seminars, evidently. Yeah, that, that's like the most important date because what happens is – especially on the financial commitment, <laughs> a lot of people assume if you can't meet that date that the seller will give you the extension. Well, the seller may not be in a position right. to give the to extension. Or the, the sellers could be going, you know, husband and wife could be going through a divorce. And, and they and, have to hit a court date or yeah, something. Yeah, one, one might want to 
kill the deal, and the other one, you know, so they might not be as cordial to, uh, me- yeah, to move that date. So, that's, right. uh, so if you need um, breathing room, you better get it up front. That must be interesting, the divorces. Oh, they're the worst. Not very interesting. Yeah, the very worst. Pretty, from where we sit, pretty annoying. Brutal. Sometimes because they both have there's one. There's one word to describe. Duck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Something's getting because something thrown like, at them. Oh, um, the ex-wife, my ex-wife is paying 20% of the, um, the, the Bank of America loan, but then I'm giving her 80% of the other loan. Like, it, it, it's all, and you know, we yeah. just say, you know what? Cut to the chase. Yeah. yeah. You tell me. We're going to tell you what your bottom line is. This yeah. is what you're getting back. You tell me how much I re- should write a check f- um, for yeah. you and how much I should write yeah. a check from your, your, um, for your ex-wife. Right. And that's actually that's hitting a very good point today. <coughs> yeah. On a divorce situation, the, the uh, banks don't care about the divorce. No. If, no. You've, if your husband <laughs> and wife have said, I'm going to be making this mortgage payment, you're both then still, you're gonna you're make still it. liable That's for right. that. Yeah. No right. Even what though the, the divorce says, says, oh, you know, you gotta, yeah. you, you're taking over 100%. So if that husband neglects to pay that, that's going to show up. You guys are both in trouble. Right. Sure is. Do you Whether see that? you have a divorce or not. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. We've had some tough divorces. A lot of times we have to have them in separate rooms. No, it, it, wow. And I get yeah. that a lot of times. Like I'll see uh, like a credit report and someone's um, you know, mortgage is late and they're just like, well, you know, it's extenuating circumstance. You know, it's because I went through a divorce. Like, wait, stop. Getting a divorce is not an extenuating, extenuating circumstance. It's a choice. You chose to be happy. Yeah, period. yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Your wife, yeah. your wife doesn't watch the show, does she? <laughs> no. yeah. What was Groucho Mark? One? <laughs> Groucho Mark, what did he used to say? Are you happy or are you married? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Henny Youngman, take my no. wife, please. The no, number one cause of divorce, I'll give you a hint, begins with an M. Money. Marriage. No, marriage. it's number two. Marriage. Yeah. <laughs> John, you're fu- but um bump. <laughs> He's going to open yeah. up for hey, you. I think he should. He's going to yeah. open up. I think he should. All right, I got one more. So my people say to you. <laughs> people He's say, not no shy. Quitter. He's, He's no quitter. quitter. <laughs> people say to you, uh, you know, my wife's in the business too. And they said, you guys always talk real estate. I go, every day. My, my wife gives me a, a to-do list and I say, boy, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> a lot to do. <laughs> Can I tell you my divorce story? And it's not <laughs> that funny with story, but it shows how yeah. extreme it gets one time. So a lot of times we have to have them in separate rooms. Yeah, crazy. Uh, one I had to have in separate buildings. One, wow. one I I've had, done with separate buildings too. Yes, yeah. yes. One I had uh, separate days because they just did yep. not get along. So I told the husband to come in the day before, sign everything, and the wife was coming in the next day down the registry deeds. I'll never forget it. And uh, the, the husband finds out when the wife is signing the next day, comes down and keys her car. <laughs> oh. But... Duh. Yeah. Le- leaves a note. You've ruined my life. He might as well just said sign yeah. the, you know. Are you kidding Sign confession. Me? Yeah. <laughs> sign confession. You've got to be kidding yeah. me. That oh, was, yeah. The that police were, yeah. That was the divorce that the, even the attorneys couldn't um, negotiate. Remember, they couldn't. Yes. They were, the attorneys, it was such a heated divorce that the attorneys were fighting. Like right. the, the husband, usually the, the attorneys stay calm. Yeah. yeah. But they were, and we're screaming at them because we need all the stuff to get the deal done. That's a nightmare. It was it was a nightmare. Would, so that's good. We hit the first the first myth is I would think it would be a, like a home run, like divorce. They both want out. Yeah, yeah. But Usually some 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 are like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Usually someone did something bad to the other one, and but that's the mm-hmm. first myth. They think yeah. when there's a divorce decree, then uh, husband has to take over yeah. the payments on that credit card. Uh, the banks don't care. You the both banks don't care. They don't care. Just go back to court. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so right. the only way they're going to get rid of that is if, like on a house, they have to refinance yes. the house, right? Yep. Get yep. their names But off. sometimes that, the, the spouse left over that keeps the house can't afford uh, yep. that would to, yep. to, to refinance yep. and right. pay out there. Right. So they're going to be forced to sell the house. Yep, yep. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Boy, wow. we've, we've got but more information on. out on this show than we did so in this the... So this is... <laughs> wow. I'm proud of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other one was a warm-up. We're working hard. <laughs> Good thing I snorted that ginkgo biloba. I yeah. <laughs> well, had a couple of sips of you. Uh, <laughs> my shame you board. Feel, you feel good, huh? I oh, thought it was yeah. lemonade. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, Ken. <laughs> so uh-huh. mo- most people spend more time planning their vacation. Oh, yeah. That, that should have been our theme. Then, I don't know why we didn't... Then... They do on researching she, a home she, mortgage. Is she doing my spelling check? I'm not, I am. I'm not getting involved. I. That's <laughs> one thing I hate. Is then the, the mix-up between then and then. then. Can you guys help me out on that? Well, like there and there. 
there and there and there. Oh, like apostrophe when. Yeah. How about when yours and yours? Possessive? Yours and yours. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That is a little crazy. Oh, you know your what, and your. You know what drives us crazy is the crawl on the bottom of the news stations. Always oh, yeah. misspelled. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, when you close so, you know, the Then and A-N is a comparison. Then is like a uh, consequence to. So. Um, look at you, that? John. I yeah. am wow. <laughs> crazily turned know, on right now. I don't know, right I don't know yeah. where that came Most from. Most people spend more time planning it was very their vacation. <laughs> there, it should be an A. -N. It should be an A. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah. I you know. I fixed it for you, Rick. Do you want me to fix it on yours too? Oh, I don't know if he wants no, to, but nice. you're gonna. By the way, I'm not. You know what? That I am not. That you have is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> No, it really is. I Isn't know. that outfit That's nice? It's beautiful. So, yeah. <laughs> did you guys um do you guys think co-signing is a good idea? Uh, no. Oh, is, did okay. I, did I spell that wrong? No. Nope. Is it good? Okay. All right, co-signing. Why 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 do you think that, Christine? It's a bad idea. I think it I think co-signing I think it puts a lot of pressure on a relationship. You hit it right on the I head. I agree. You I just right think it just puts a lot of, it's right, just this is, it's this is why this is why someone needs to get co-signed because the bank is deciding that, that they're person. They're not qualified. They're not mm. qualified. Right. So right. So then they have to get a co-signer. They need you. They, exactly. And they so need you're not you a lot right now, but the minute you sign it, they, they have no problem discarding you. It, it's the truth. It and is so the truth. And that, I think that causes a lot of problems with oh, families. You, you hit it and right on the head. You didn't even read our notes, and you knew that right <sighs> off the bat. I'm, I'm like a savant. But there's a reason yeah. There's a reason the bank's saying, you can't do this on, the, you know, on your own. So... If you need a cosigner, that cosigner must know, well, at some point, they might not be able to make these payments. So if you're buying a house... It's a no-win situation. Right. Well, that afford. goes back to when I asked the question, how much you comfortable spending per mm -hmm. month? Because a lot of times people say, well, you know, I, I got other income. I just started my own business less than a year ago. I'm making money. I, at that time, I cannot use that for income. So they know they're making the money. So I just can't document it. So at the time, they need a cosigner. To get them through. So the, and it, usually the deal is um, maybe a, a year or two later, we'll refinance them off the mortgage. Once oh, it's great for the borrower. But what do they do that? Yeah. They do? They, they'll, they'll stick I'll make sure it. they do it. More money for me. Get yeah. a repeat right. business. <laughs> but, 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 so there are a couple ways you can do that. Aren't there a couple ways you can do that? You could be yeah. a, t a true co-signer, yeah. right? And you'd be the... Um, a no, you can be a non-occupant non yep. or even you know, non-owner. Non-owner, right. yep. But if I was going to co-sign for Rick, because Rick couldn't afford to pay a mortgage, buy a house and pay a mortgage... And you know, she I would, would do that for me. I would do it, but I would, <laughs> I would say that I'd want to be on the title to the house. It depends. It depends you know because if you have someone that's... Maybe in their 60s, 70s, or 80s, they may not want to show the asset. Okay. So they might not want to be on the deed because then, you know, maybe. It might screw up Medicaid or all something that along that Oh, it definitely will. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it, it just, in just in a current situation, like a husband and a wife or, you know, yeah. a boyfriend and a girlfriend, and one wants to buy the house and they can't afford yeah. it by themselves, a good, um, a good situation would, would be that they would go on the title to the property. That would be a good To situation. protect their interest. In the property. Right. A bad situation would be if one of the co-borrowers maybe has the IRS on their, their butt. Of so course. you might want to stick away from that. Or they might be in a business that you know, people tend to sue them all the time. So they might not want to have ownership on that. Stuff like that. Every, right. It's an Every individual. Right. So, you know? so what, they what they should do if you're in a situation where you need a co-signer is just call you and you can run through the pros and cons, right? Right, right. And That's like a dirty word in our house, co-sign. Because we, yeah. we get the five kids, you know, they were always right. like, well, oh, I can't right. get the student loan. No, you right. know those, right. um, the right. staple, the staple, um, oh, those. Like, nope. No. 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 <laughs> That's what you yeah. need. I have well, one of I do those. need one of those. The next nope. time you come on, I'm going to bring uh, it. Thank you. Sean, I you, do you didn't one. have that luxury, I but I had the two of them in my speakers. <laughs> no. 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 You got no. that in surround sound. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm at, no. a, I'm at a Bose theater <laughs> yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. I'm actually bringing that to work tomorrow. <laughs> can you do just it. do it yourself? Bring it back. Bring it back. Why just bring her to work tomorrow. And she can go, no. no. Two can sit in my room and go, no. no not today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a chair outside my door and that's going to oh. be my. See, now you're mimicking her. <laughs> she usually mimics you. <laughs> no can no do. No can do. It's Why not. can't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with Hashtag, that really, with why that, why can't, can't you, you do, do it? it? 
<laughs> with that cute face. Oh, yeah, that cute exactly. Yeah, so why cute? Cute. Not, <laughs> not <laughs> like what would Jesus do? What would Ricky do? <laughs> why can't And why you? can't Ricky do it? <laughs> Didn't you say last week charm? Ignorance is charm. That's why I'm so charming, right? You, right. It, that is that put you right over the that put you right over the charming waterfall. The right? phone's right. ringing. I'm sorry. No. I wore, I'm sorry. I wore the same shirt that I wore last it's week. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> Nobody's judging. I'm sweating. <laughs> Nobody's judging. Yeah. Uh, no. I'm overheating. No, thing. no that's great. We need some ratings. <laughs> don't you? Exactly. There you go. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, honey. It's all good. You feeling better? Yeah. I told you. I'd all right. You about. I know you told me. That's all right. No, that's all right. So, all uh, right, so, so we got one. Uh, <laughs> one done. Uh, Fifteen minutes in. That's perfect. I like um, the um, leasing a car. Lisa and Ka, you know what we should do? All right, what do you all like right about let's, it? let's back up for a second. Let's yeah. back up, which we should have had as the introduction. People spend more time on deciding where they're going to go on vacation. Where they're going to go on vacation than I believe planning that. their researching of so a whole So let's go back mortgage. to that. So let's, maybe we should just throw out these thoughts. We only have about 15 minutes left, and we can just say yes or no to the idea. All right. How's that? Leasing a car. Go. It depends, but I'd say yes if you want to get that See, brand new car. This is going to be point comp point. Stu Holtzhauser, what would he say? Stewie Holtzhauser would absolutely say it was a very, very bad idea. Now, these people have spent a lot of money on the analytics. You know, if you're trying to get a credit card at like Macy's or if you're, you're, if you're leasing a car, they have a little bit more knowledge than the average consumer coming in. They know they're making a ton of money if you're leasing a car. I think they have the upper Dave hand. Dave Ramsey says that it's the absolute worst thing you can do. Worst thing world. to do. You I, well, do. I, 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 I don't agree with that. I feel like I own something. I'll explain. Right. No, right. you never own it because what happens? Because I've done both, and what happens is when you lease, um, you're not paying any. Chances are you're not going to pay for any maintenance, as you won't have to because you're turning in the car. There's no. Uh, let's right. say you do they're the normal. They're taking car, care of it for you. You're not changing the tires or what have yeah, you. Yeah, but the value you've lost on that over the years would compensate for any. Any monies you'd be putting in for repairs is what, yeah. is what they say. What? For, against leasing? Yes. Yeah, but if you lease and, yep. and you're, you're constantly turning it over every two years, the amount of money you're spending for the lease, let's say it's 500 a month. If you were to buy that same car, you're paying 1000 a month on an actual loan. So, so right there, you're saving 500 right there. You're always having a new car, what have you. If you're going to buy a car, it's got to be a certified pre-owned, at least two years old. Just All right, so let's jump back to that. Should Bye. we tell them about my, my $5,000 car? $5,000 car was the best move she made. Yeah. My husband's company was selling a company car yeah. that had high mileage, but it was only like a couple of years old. What was the brand? Um, it was a Chevy um, Trailblazer. Okay. Okay. We bought it for $5,000. So we went to our credit union and got a short-term loan for yeah. $5,000, handed them the $5,000 and paid it off in like six months yeah. or right. whatever. We drove that, I drove the car for four years and then my Passed son, down. Yeah. then my son drove the car for a couple of years, five, let's see, um, five, six years. And we literally just gave it to a friend, a family friend for parts or whatever. The car had like 280,000 miles Always on it. the way. All for $5,000 on a short-term loan, a six-month short-term loan. So, so I, we, my wife bought a new car about four years ago, which is about finishing up the, the car payments. But now we're also put, we've been putting money into the car at the same time. That's how it gets you. So, right. You know, new tires, just, just the wear and tear stuff, you know, and the cars, while the car was still paying the car loan, we're, we're putting money we're in, right. into it. Where if I had leased that car, I would, my monthly payments would have been cheaper. She, she wants to have the idea of owning. Now, the only way it's going to pay off is what she wants to do is just keep the car for another four years. So then it's worth it. If you're like, going to buy right. a car. Like Kathy's $5,000 car. Yeah, yeah you, better, right. you better hold on to it. If, you're, if you buy say, And I agree with that. Say you lose about 60% over you those sure four years. Right. So on that $50,000 car is now worth 20000 Yeah, so if you get, to me, get one of the high-end cars that are yeah. certified pre-owned. Like, you know, right, like most, a year or two old. Yeah, cause, we did cause, that. Cause you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might we get, always do that. Yeah, because you might yeah. get a car that's sixty thousand new, but certified pre-owned. You might pick it up you for thirty. Seen the pink ride she's driving around. In. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. it's something. <laughs> yeah, it's something. <laughs> we're actually buying another car this week. I am. Why Speaking of you? cars, yep. Why yep. you miss big but, money bags? Well, we really aren't but because Jimmy Hurley. God bless him. I'm yeah. going to give him credit on this. He does the five thousand dollars. He he yeah. searches, searches, searches. That's the way my husband finds is. cars that we can pay. 
maybe he'll find something. He'll he doesn't pay more than thirteen thousand for a car. He he pay, sounds like my does husband. Does ten in yeah. cash. Yeah. Finances three, pays it off in four months, and then we have it for two or three years. Across yeah. So that's good. that's yeah. good. Yeah. Never well, have a copy. That makes sense. And yeah. In two or three years, it's well, maybe worth ten thousand. But yeah. honestly, yeah. exactly. Like, my husband's very savvy when it comes to that. Like so. So then my daughter smashed up a car. We had to replace it. Right. And he went after a Chevy Trailblazer same year as that one. We had yeah. really good luck with. But. It, Sometimes it doesn't pan out. She you know. sounds just like you when she says sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> I I know exactly what you're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. sometimes it doesn't pan out. See it all of a sudden out. black here. The, yeah. Literally the plug, plugs pulled from our itself. And sometimes and, and a lot of times it does pan out, but uh, whatever. So we all right. I think so we what we're saying? He say, said, she said. Right. So what we're saying is, be careful on the math if you're leasing. Be careful on the math if you're buying. A property, uh, uh, yep. a car, even if you're getting a zero percent loan, right? Right. But some people like John, like so you lease. Right now, I own, but okay. I'm just saying. But I, I bought a um, the car I bought was like two years old. It yeah. was a, right. A person, um, he was an elderly man. He turned the car in. There was like thirteen thousand miles on it. Yeah. Came with a certified pre-owned hundred thousand mile warranty. And only 13,000 miles on it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I have right. to. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Sometimes the deal is so sweet, you just right. have to buy it. Right. Like, right. You know, because there are times where a lease, this has happened to my daughter. She leased, and she put a lot of miles on it. The lease is not up yet, but she had to get new tires. It yeah. killed me to get new tires. Yeah, on a lease. Yeah. yeah right. Knowing that you're going to turn Give it in it in back. six months. Did you see the new company they have now? You pay like 600 a month, and you get a new car every four weeks. Really? really? It's a monthly. Really? A monthly lease. You can get the brand new Cadillac one month, four really? weeks later. Uh, but yeah, I like, I, I start to, it takes me I get about a to my year cars. to figure out all the gadgets a, a, in my car. Exactly. So that a month, a month, a month would drive exactly. me nuts. That, that car I have, I walked, I drove around with the rear wiper going for six <laughs> straight months. Yeah. I'm like, I, sorry. <laughs> 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 Can't find the button. Can't get gas because we don't know how to open gas. the thing. Don't know where that is. It matched your blinker <laughs> yeah, the whole time exactly. too, right? <laughs> oh, I'm a piece of work. I'll tell you. I am extra. <laughs> All right. Credit cards. Yes. If you don't have credit cards, can you get a loan? You mean you have like no credit? N- yeah. No, no credit cards. Because I think that might be a myth. You have to have a, a few credit you cards. You just have to have a credit score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but, what if you but, don't uh, have you a credit score? Then we, do, we can do alternative credit. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. You can't so do you a desktop d- underwriting, right? But no, you it's going to be manual. Yeah. 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 So you don't necessarily need credit cards. To, th- to, to make your credit I think, score better. I think a lot of parents tell their kids. Which is what we do. Yeah, go get right. a credit get a, card. Get, get a establish card. It, yep. And they're saying uh, credit card companies are now targeting. But what the parent hasn't told the kid was how you to have it. to pay it back. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Each month. Yeah, because my husband says if you can't afford to pay cash for it, you, you can't, can't afford it. it. You can't afford it. You know, that's, we, that's, hi, Stu. That's, that's we've, asked, <laughs> we've asked Stu to come on. And he, he is would very old-fashioned. So we're I doing the show without him, but yeah. with his thoughts. About so I say right. on that. He said he's shy. He's yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a shy <laughs> one. So yeah, what all I the whole houses are. On that, what I recommend is um, get the credit card. Yep. Things that you would normally pay cash for. Uh, use the credit card, but pay the whole entire balance off every month. All right, month. but they have stats on that, on how many people say they're going to pay it off. And we do. Yeah, 3% yeah. do that. Right. 3%. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. When Jimmy and I got married 30 years ago, yeah. he, now we, I was 22, very young, had never had a credit card in my life. He gets an American Express, gives me one. We were married in June. By July, I had jacked <laughs> it up to $3,700, which I thought, whatever. But you, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, you're yeah. And you're pretty yeah. impressive. You're most, of it, most of it like at Tellos and Express, <laughs> you know, Tellos, real, I real love good Tellos. purchases, right? <laughs> that store was so, awesome. Yeah, I, I, I looked Metal great. Glenn Mall. I looked yeah. great. Couldn't afford. So, they <laughs> still, so what I don't know, I don't have a credit card. American Express, you got to pay it. Yes. In thirty, you got to pay yes. that. That's yeah. right. Charge Thirty-seven hundred dollars. Yeah. So what? Yeah. yeah. So they, they call started that a calling charge. the house. I'm like, yeah. what? You got to pay it? Yeah. <laughs> they started calling the house. I'm like, what? <laughs> so they're like, yeah, you got to, you got to pay that thirty-seven hundred dollars. I'm like, ugh. This, this, this started a trail of, of deceit that you can't even believe. I went through at twenty-two years old. I went down the post office. I filled out a we are on vacation card so the bill wouldn't come to the house. Okay. So for six weeks, I kind of sat fat and happy. The bill wasn't coming. Jimmy's like, we're not getting any mail. What? Are we not getting any 
mail? Why am I getting any mail? This went on, I'm not kidding you, for a month and a half. Do you know why we're not getting any mail? So one day, I'm in the she house. Makes me snore. Yeah, we, we have a big picture window. We have a big picture window. I went up in my family room. And Jimmy's out mowing the lawn. And I see Rick the mailman pull up, and he goes over to Jimmy. And they have, I'm like, and then I see Jimmy look up. I'm like... <laughs> And Rick goes in the back, goes in the back of the mail truck, and takes out the plastic thing full of uh, six no. weeks worth of mail, and gives Jimmy like, oh, no. twenty-two no, years old. No. It was ugly, <laughs> ugly. You're lucky, Jimmy Hurley's still married to That's you. That's amazing. It's amazing. Well, I do things. I know. Yeah. We heard. Where'd you get that nice ring? Oh, that's. <laughs> You got a minute? <laughs> that's, all it took. that's all it took. That's yeah. how much it'll yeah. take to yeah. uh, get us off the yeah. show. Sometimes I'm like, I'm like, not today. Then I'm, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't take one for the team. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just a gentle <laughs> reminder. Yeah. yeah, at least I can watch TV. I do need that <laughs> new get, handbag. I do need that new coach you bag. You got to move your head. You're in my way. Yeah, yeah. I can't see Nightline. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you see what's going on? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, God. All right, I got some other stats. Most people do not pay it off uh, within the month, right? Of course uh, not. You're going to spend more if in, in you interest. have a credit card, right? Right. If you're not well, paying you would the buy cash. Things, you would buy things that you can't afford to buy yeah, and, with and a credit card. Well, like, look at Macy says, um, you know, if you use your card, you get 20% off. Right. Well, I said, paying, I don't care. It doesn't, no, you're not giving me 20% right. off. You're making it in the end. Right, because mm-hmm. right. that's my point. Most people don't don't pay it off. Right. And, and they, don't you have a little coupon behind there that you can give oh, me? Oh, I say I that all the time. I yeah. see what's down there. I see the there. coupon. I yeah. see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also so saw you pull in. I know where you parked. Don't entice me with that credit card. I see it right behind you. Adjust your hand at Blue head. So is this, a, my is, this a, coupon. is this a myth? I know. Oh, that's what <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Is this a myth or reality? Like, say I have a, a credit card for with a ten thousand dollar limit, but yeah. I have a zero balance. Yeah. Does that is when my credit score is done, or you're looking at my my financial um, history? Does it? Um, do you take in the, into account the ten thousand or my zero balance? I think they take if you don't use it. it doesn't really take into account much. You got to at least use it. You know? So what if I'm at a thousand dollars? That's fine. Anything under like twenty five percent of. Okay. The so what if I'm at five thousand dollars? <laughs> yeah, that, they'll drop it. <laughs> Hypothetically. Wow. But I mean, if it's just, <laughs> if it's just one month, and you still pay is it off. still is watching yeah. for a friend. <laughs> for a As, friend asking for a friend. <laughs> so My if sister's yeah. horrible. Uh, anyway. So if you get into that situation, <laughs> and if you're concerned if about my your friend cr- does. Yeah, if your friend does, what your friend should do. Call the credit card company and ask for an increase in the limit. That way, if they it won't bu- look like it's yeah, they bump it up to fifteen thousand. Now you're down to like thirty three percent. Little good. trick, little tip, little hey, yeah. little tip. Yeah. I little just tip. called them up right and that said, good. "I would like a credit card, and um, just just in case." Yeah, and um, yeah. I send them my pay stub all by myself. And I got like thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> I was oh. laughing. I my gotta get a job. I said, <laughs> <laughs> "No, you don't have to." Even a little tiny John? job. I mean, you don't need a job. You don't yeah. need a job. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And I'm like, no. oh, something must must have gone wrong, right? So I went back on, and then sure I'm like, enough. well, maybe I should should apply for another one. I should call them and see. And they mm-hmm. said, sure enough, Mrs. Holtzhauser, you have a thirty thousand dollar limit. I said, now, when will that come in the mail? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And could I get an Uber to Neiman? (laughs) Stu Holtz is driving down here right (laughs) now to rip. He knows about it. He knows about it. He does not know about the $30,000 limit. He goes, give me the car. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, See, think, a, yeah. You're going to tell him, think about the safety net we just created. That's good. That the, <laughs> I like the honesty. Yeah, yeah think about the give safety net we created. Think how much card. we can borrow now. Huh? Yes. Kathy, I give you credit for telling him. I wouldn't have. Oh, yeah. No, I needed it for Italy. Just we, got, we got we got leverage. Yeah. yeah. So when, got, when yeah. Kathy goes to Macy's and buys all the sales, right. what is the first thing Stu Holtzhauser says to you when you come home? I said, honey, you should see what I got. He goes, how much did you save me today? Yeah. Ex- yeah. <laughs> Isn't that? that is and the, then I the pull out the first thing, right? And I say, well, this was originally two hundred and thirty dollars. Every and then woman it got mocked down to, to one hundred and fifty, and then I got seventy five percent off that. I say that if I had a nickel for every, t- he, he just rolls his eyes. I had new shoes on the other night. He's like, are those new? Yeah, no, yeah, these said, old things. No. <laughs> are these new? I said, Why you do you waste on? your breath? You'll never get that back. So, but you got to follow up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
You will <laughs> never get. And we're never going to tell you <laughs> the I'm truth. Gonna, I'm, you think I'm going to tell you? No. This, You're this, just fooling yourself. Exactly, You're fooling. Exactly. Why, why even do that why, ever again? Why give yourself high <laughs> blood pressure? <laughs> But then you have to follow up with the call to action because you're going to say, you know, I saved us 3000 So can we go to Paris now? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. He usually goes to the big job lot. Oh, Didn't the you big say job lot. Jimmy Hurley buys all his clothes at the job Ocean lot. State. His clothes. Ocean State job lot. Oh, I don't his clothes think you there. should be telling people that. Oh, Christine. It's a true story. It's a, that's a true story. Isn't, Isn't that terrible? Showcasing his pants for Easter? He wore... He, he, you never heard that story? No. He bought pants for Easter dinner at Job Lot. And true story, Kathy, the next day when we got to the Easter dinner, um, <laughs> I'm looking at them like, what? They had... <laughs> <laughs> They were up. To, they were khakis. They were up to here. Okay. They had f- the front was pleated. <laughs> they had a side zipper. It's like cargo and pants. And there were little slits in the ankle. Did he um, mix up the W and the M? Well, like like Don Gavin says when he goes to the restroom. I think I'm a medium. Right. <laughs> not a large. Uh, yeah. He thought no, it was, yeah, he would, he thought it was would, wide. So, yeah, so he's walking around in these pants, right? So I'm like, let me see those. So I pulled the tag, <laughs> Kathy Lee Casuals. <laughs> he bought he wore lady pants to Easter. All like right. Six, six uh, years ago. How did he but look? he looked good, They're, though, right? No. <laughs> yeah. uh, they were lady pants that he wore. Oh, my God. That's he's, classic. He's like, Don't you tell anybody. <laughs> Don't you go to job okay. lots again. We they, get yeah. a lot of listeners to this show, oh, you know. Oh, no. Nationwide. Oh, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> You've oh. never said anything Poor bad thing. about Jimmy no Hurley secret. before. I know. When I ever <laughs> met Jimmy Hurley, I said, he's he's a, I'm Jimmy Hurley. I go, you are not Jimmy I know. Hurley. People think he's like a troll. Like, no, they, 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 think he's like, like, they think he's a 300-pound guy who carries yeah. around a box like, yeah, of chicken. Yeah, and, and, and just like, like yeah, a they slob. Think he's, yeah, like a slob. And, people yeah. like, and I said, you're not Jimmy Hurley. Yeah, I know. I he's, am Jimmy Hurley. I go, oh, my God. Well, he wears a Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> we cornstarch him up every morning, Kathy. <laughs> Ryan, yeah, Ryan, Ryan Cotto was sitting with him at one of the shows. And at the, this was a long time ago. When he first met Jimmy, he goes, that Jimmy Hurley's the nicest guy. I go, I know he is. It might be a little bit of an act. The poor thing. Is that he really is. But it's been, you know, ever since we started dating and we're married, like the stories, my friends would be like, you've got to be kidding me. I said, he's just, it never ends. Yeah. No, he's the nicest guy. You told guy. me a, as a funny story last time I saw you. And I just for the life of me, can't remember. Something about... Um, you were trying to text him a dirty picture of yourself, <gasps> and you sent it to your son. Oh, just tell us that. Isn't real that quick. awful? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, that I, is a really bad mother yep. moment. I said um, <laughs> I w- it was terrible. I was, I w- he was at work, and I was on my way to a gig, and I didn't have the address. So I texted him. I said, "Please send me <laughs> the address of the venue and a picture of your peepee." <laughs> So that he would do both. So right? that he would do both. Yep. And I hit send and it went to my 17-year-old son. <laughs> That's, your poor son was in conflict. So poor, exactly. Exactly. John, yeah, I would have loved to see his face when he saw it. So, so all he, I get back. So I'm like, all I get back is, Mom? <laughs> No, 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 no. no. I'm like, no, 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 no. (laughs) I have a hurt feeling one of the Hurley kids was not as shocked as most kids. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. You've got other pictures sent to you, too, but maybe we'll talk about that next time. Yes, yes, yes. From From my friend. Yes. From famous people. Not me, not me. Yep, no, no, no. We'll only give the initials. No, I'm only kidding. Yeah. Yeah. G. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they call it G. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we got a lot of real estate in today. I, huh? think, so, wow. I think we did. I think we really did. We got a lot. We got a lot. I know. We got a lot. You guys might have to come back. What do you think? Anytime. Ooh. I know. All sure. right. I'm you know exhausted. Me, can I Ooh. leave now? You can leave. I enjoy it Because Christine's immensely. working next week with us, so she's yes. going to be your helper. And <laughs> you could spring the vodka. <laughs> Honey, I'm, gonna hear, I'm gonna hear the two. That's not no. even a second thought. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why can't you no, just no, no, get no. it? I don't why know why I didn't remember to or ever even think to bring it into the office. Why can't oh, oh, okay. you do it? Yeah, why can't you, you do, do it? it? Why can't you mm-hmm. do it? Mm-hmm. She's kidding. Mm-hmm. She's got a flask underneath her. You know that. Who doesn't? Near the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, thanks for joining us here on the Real Estate House Party. Thank Christine you, everybody. Hurley. Thank you, my awesome. loves. Always such a delight. You are the You best. guys make my whole week. <laughs> Kathy Holtzhauser. <laughs> All right. And the Iceman, John The Iceman. He works at New Fed, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
had you fed Morgan. Oh yeah. They Call try to keep time. that low. They don't talk about me much. <laughs> oh. See you next week. Oh, right. I don't know if we're Can't still wait. I don't know if we're still taping here or we seem to have a long <laughs> So uh <laughs> long outro. All righty. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.